Okay, today we are going to be talking about Chrome extensions and my basic collection of Chrome extensions that I use on a daily basis or whenever I work on projects or I'm looking for inspiration for projects that I cannot go without and I hope that you'll find this very useful because actually they are. <laughs> okay, that's my opinion, so let's get into it. All right, so the first Chrome extension we are going to be talking about is called Responsively Helper. And what Responsively does is basically test your website responsivity on multiple, multiple devices at the same time. So you will see the screens mirrored on the same UI, basically. So let me show you what I mean. First of all, the Responsively Chrome extension is a helper. And as they say here, the extension gives you a handy way to send the current page URL to Responsively app with just a click of a button. So you would need to actually download the app on your computer. And once you want to check the responsivity of a website, you would simply go to responsively Chrome extension, click on it. And this is supposed to, the, to send the link to the responsively app on your computer. And then you could check the responsivity of the website in question or the website that you want to check. <laughs> So you do have the option to download it for Firefox, obviously Chrome and Edge. And now let's have a look at what the app actually does. And as you can see here, I have added iPhone 12 Pro, iPad MacBook Pro, iPhone SE, Galaxy S5 screens. And you can see the same website on all these screens at the same time. That's what I meant by the seeing the website mirrored on multiple devices. And you can test the interactions on all these devices. Obviously they will not load at the same time. And look at this. I think the website is looking good on all these devices. And one thing that you can do to add more devices, obviously, because maybe you want to test it on other devices as well. You just click these three dots here and you go to device manager. And as you can see, I, these are the devices that I have added, but you can add more. So let's add an iPad mini. Let's add a Surface Duo and let's add a Pixel. All right, now they're supposed to be added and let's close this. So in order to see all these devices, you need to go to preview layout. We do this. We can also turn on the dark mode, which I prefer, absolutely. And all these devices that we have added here are available to us. And we can see the website on all these devices. Another thing you can do with this tool, you can also take a full page screenshot, but I don't recommend that because it doesn't really work properly. But you can take a quick screenshot and this will take a screenshot of the actual let me just open it and show you so it took a screenshot of the hero section basically and yeah i think that's pretty useful sometimes in different situations another thing that you can do is basically inspect the code of the web page that you are viewing right in here as you can see you have the code available and if you don't want to see the interactions mirrored and you want to only view the website on one device for example when you're scrolling you can click on this and this will disable the event mirroring and i did that and as you can see i if i'm scrolling this on this preview the other uh, screens don't scroll uh, as well and you have to do the same thing for each screen that you want to preview basically so this is how it works and i think it's pretty cool and i find it interesting and i do use it quite a lot as well all right let's move on to the next one all right the next extension is called what font and i'm sure that you've heard of this extension before but i will mention it because this is one of my go-to tools to check fonts on websites i'm obsessed with fonts and typography is really really important in my opinion so i want to find cool fonts on websites that i'm browsing so i use what fonts what font quite a lot. So as you can see, uh, my website reuses Abril Fatface and that is true. And it also uses the M Sun. And let's click on this font. And as you can see, it gives you all the details of the font, the style, the weight, the size, the line height, the color, which is pretty cool, right? And obviously the font family as well. And if you want to exit what font, you just click here and you have exited. Okay, another extension that I like to use a lot is called What Runs. And What Runs does one thing very well, and that is 
is checking how websites are built, what are they built with, widgets they're using, font scripts, programming languages, tag managers, web servers, advertising. As you can see, it's a whole lot of information. And as you can see, I'm checking now Elementor.com and it was built on WordPress, obviously. And we get all the information, even the plugins that they are using. And I find that pretty pretty cool you can get inspired by this sometimes i check to see if any of these tools might be useful to me in uh, with on the build on the projects that i'm building or maybe in the future and um, yeah it's a very nice uh, sneaky little thing to use <laughs> all right the next chrome extension i use more than often i use it so much unfortunately i deleted all my color history last week and I'm a little bit pissed because I had so many colors, this was almost full. But the way you use this Chrome extension is basically go here, pick a color from this page and let's just choose this color. And now it copied it to the clipboard and it also saved it in our color history and we have it here. And previously I saved this color from the website, which is this beautiful pink. And I think this is pretty useful. Sometimes I go on websites and I see color schemes that I love and I want to use in the future. And yeah, I think this does a great job. Let's try another one. Let's go with this hot pink. There we are. And it saved it to our color picker history. And you have it there to use it whenever you feel like using this color in your project. And that's awesome. Okay, the last but not least Chrome extension that I'm going to be talking about today is called, one second, it has a very long <laughs> name. It's called Awesome Screen Shot and Screen Recorder. And it does just that. So if you want to take a screenshot of this page, for example, you have three options. Take a screenshot of the visible part, basically the hero section, a full page of the entirety of the page that you are on, or a selected area. Let's just say selected area being this part here that is right now highlighted on the screen. And let's just see it in action. And I'm going to take a full page screenshot. I prefer these ones because you can use them to send screenshots to clients or use these screenshots in your portfolios. They are very high quality images and I think they are quite beautiful. And here we are. And this is exactly how it was looking on the website. It's accurate and beautiful. <laughs> All right, so the way you can use this image, you can download it as easy as that. And what else you can do with this is basically download it as a PDF as well, and also generate a shareable link to send it to somebody so, somebody, so they could see it in the browser. If you've been thinking to start building websites next year and you want to do cool stuff with CSS in Elementor, then watch this playlist here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video, and I'll see you next time.